This is the first video of section 3 on constructing the supporting services. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up AngularJS and bootstrapping our application. We're going to use local storage to store data for some persistence in our application. HTML5 local storage is a way of storing data in the user's browsers, so that we can use that data later when they come back to the application. Think of data like favorite animals, past matches, and so on. This way our app will be a little cooler by remembering all the things that happened before whenever we visit the application. So, to get started we're going to first add AngularJS to Bower so we can use the framework. We'll also install an additional module to handle interfacing with local storage. Let's use Bower to install Angular and Angular Local Storage. Let's go ahead and add a main bootstrap file. Let's call it app.js in the source and then scripts folder. We can go ahead and delete the JS hint check file since we don't need it anymore. In the bootstrap file, we're going to initiate our Angular module. Let's call it packed. Since we're going to write our storage service, we're going to prepare it by creating the empty service in the services folder inside scripts. Just leave it empty for now, we're not going to add code to it right away. Let's make sure to add all our dependencies and source files to the index.html to reference the scripts. First we're going to add our source scripts, so scripts app.js and scripts services storage.js. Now, you might have already noticed that I made a mistake here. I forgot to let Bauer know where it should install the dependencies, so it's installed them in the root folder of the project. We don't really want that, so what we'll do is create a quick .bauerrc file in the root folder, and then add the directory property to it. Let's use source bauer underscore components. Now run Bower install again to make sure the dependencies turn up in the right place and feel free to delete the old folder. Alright, now that that's fixed, we're going to add the vendor dependencies to our HTML as well. Make sure to add them before your own scripts and make sure Angular is on top so that the Angular local storage module is loaded and can use Angular. And finally we're going to let Angular know that it needs to load the packed module when the app starts, so we're going to add the attribute ng-app to the HTML element. Let's use the Angular local storage module in our application to abstract away the actual storage logic. Let's open up our app.js file and first we're going to add the module's name to our app module's dependencies, which is local storage module. Next up we're going to perform an optional but recommended step. We're going to add a prefix to our stored data to make sure it doesn't interfere with any other local storage data that could be present on this domain, but has nothing to do with our application. So let's go ahead and open up our config block for the module. Let's inject the local storage service provider and then use it to set the prefix. I'm going to choose backed here. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Let's go and open our storage service file again. We'll just create the service real quick. Let's call it storage. That'll do fine. Make sure to also inject the local storage service and then add two methods. One is going to save the data and one is going to load it. Saving the data requires both a key and a value. So we're going to use local storage service here and then set it using the key and set the data and loading it only requires the key obviously and we'll just return the data we get from local storage service dot get using the key provided this concludes the work on the storage service using this service we can add some persistence to our sample application to make it a little more interesting in the next video we'll be adding all the required data to our application